Caitlin Lewis and with Soil Cycle here in Missoula, Montana. And I'm going to talk a little bit about our earth tub system. This beautiful beast here um, was created by Green Mountain Technologies and it's an in-vessel composting system. So what that means is there's a limited loss here of air, moisture, and heat in this process because it is primarily sealed and contained. Um, and so it's a three yard capacity and it's highly insulated, really thick polymer walls. So ideally we can compost throughout the winter here in Western Montana. Hi, I'm Thomas Bassett with Soil Cycle. I'm gonna show you the inside of the composting system here. The earth tub is insulated, so these insulated panels come off so you can empty the earth tub. Inside here, you'll see all the way in the back, there's an auger that's hooked up to a motor on top of the earth tub. And that allows us to turn the earth tub easily with not a lot of labor. You do have to use these handles there's three placed around the top here and the whole top spins and it allows us to turn the compost with a lot of ease and in about 10 minutes it allows us to hand turn three yards of compost. So this is the auger on the earth tub. This auger is powered by this motor on top. This motor takes three phase power so before looking into using an earth tub, make sure that you can wire in three-phase power into your site. Um, that is one of the major requirements of operating one of these uh, systems. Also, uh, when using this system, the lid does spin. So what we've done is we've actually mounted our wiring up to the rafters up here as well as a pulley system to lift the lid for our earth tub because uh, the lid is an insulated lid and it can be quite heavy. Um, so in order to get good operation out of it, um, these, the, the rafter mounted pulley as well as running our electricity up to the rafters has made it a lot easier to use the lid because it does spin in place. Um, and with the mountings here, you can see that we are able to spin it without getting the cords tangled. So this is uh, the blower for the aeration system for the earth tub. This blower we got off a different component from Green Mountain Technologies and we just took some spare parts we had laying around and were able to hook this blower up to the earth tub and that allows us to pump air into it to provide aeration at regular intervals. The optimal interval for aeration for an earth tub is five minutes every 30 minutes and that allows the microbes to get a replenishment of oxygen to operate at maximum capacity. As part of this blower system, there's also an attached drainage system. And we have a drain coming off the blower tube as well as a separate tube over here that we've hooked up to a small uh, milk jug down here that collects any leach that comes out of the bottom, which is generally just water filled with a lot of nutrients. And it's uh, a good resource that we add into our other compost piles to help kind of supercharge that process. Um, and between these two things, it helps regulate the composting that's happening in the vessel, providing good oxygenation and good drainage at the same time. So this is our emergency shutoff system for the three-phase power for our earth tub. Uh, important thing to keep in mind is when you're using a high voltage system or a three phase power is you always want to have a, a emergency shutoff hooked up. And when you're not using it, you always want to keep it locked in the off position like it is here. 
And so here we can unlock it and turn it into the on position. And if you hit the start button, the auger will start spinning. We won't be doing that at this time, but keep in mind when setting up uh, any of these systems, you want to make sure and be safe and use all the proper protocols and having an emergency shutoff system like this is really what you need to properly use.